What's going on, peoples? Um, this is my second video uh, for my Samsung Galaxy S4 T-Mobile. Um, as promised, I did wait for a kernel to come out that allows you to overclock the CPU and the GPU. So I installed the CM10. Um, let's see, uh, this is Revolt. I think it's 4.3. As you can see by the name up there. Um, this is Android 4.2.2. Now the kernel version is uh, Chronic Kernel. And this one allows you to overclock the GPU and the CPU. Uh, I know the previous build you was only able to overclock the GPU, but I guess they sort some things out, and now you're able to overclock both, which I will display with kernel tuner just to show you the voltage so let me just uh, find it here so in I don't know if the, oh well it won't go in and I think it's oh, come on there we go so as you can see it's at uh, 2.1 I wish this thing would focus each core is at 2.1 I have them all on performance governor just for testing purposes and as you can see uh, if this thing focus my GPU is well supposed to be overclocked to 500 megahertz and the way you do that is you use the um, 89 I think chronic script or something like that which I use root uh, root I'll just show you how I did it. I use root browser. You go down to E ETC. You go to an issue. And then there it is right there. It, if this thing focused. But anyway, I'm pretty sure you can make it out. You go there. Open as. Um, you go text file. And then I think the CM10... I mean, sign your mod file manager is in here already. Just make sure you set it to allow root. Go to editor, and then you scroll all the way down. Uh, I think it's let me see. Right here, right there. You just set the GPU frequency to just change the 45 to 50, and then just click save. I mean this this camera on the Galaxy Note is horrible because it won't focus on it. I don't know why. Maybe if I pull it back some. Nope, that's not working. But anyway, um, you'll see it. It's it's there. You just go to uh, config 3D GPU clock, and it, you'll see at the bottom it'll say right the. Oops, right there it'll say uh, 45. Just change that 45 to 50 up here at the top just click save when you're done and then when you run something the GPU should be at five mega, 500 megahertz now the way I test that is with um, when I was on the stock ROM I did use um, 3D Mark and I got a real not a low score but it was like 980 something but with this ROM and plus the kernel I wind up getting like a 10 I know I was like number two in the world so I'm just gonna run it and let you guys see for yourself if this thing ever would focus like this camera is the worst I mean, you can't even see anything. I'm going to see if they have a program that allows you to record the... the, um... screen as you're doing things. I'm pretty sure they do. But as you can see down there, it gets pretty decent frame rate. I would say it gets about seven to eight more frames than the stock version
But I mean, this looks amazing for a mobile phone. Now, I haven't put it on the Extreme Edition yet. So, this is just the default version. I mean, to me, in my opinion, it's getting anywhere, I mean, on average, between 40 and 50 frames per second, which is enough for me. That's playable. So, if this was an actual game if it was getting that many frames per second that's more than enough playable as you can see down there at some some points is actually getting up to 60 frames a second and this is a pretty intense uh like demo so Now, I'm probably not going to have enough time to do the whole, whole um, demo because I'm running out of time on my, or running out of space on my memory card. But I think it should have saved the last, last one I've done. So I'm just going to see if I can go straight to the score. I'll let this... I know there's another version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, as far as the results detailed. There's another one there. Yeah, it's that one. Mine's was only about a hundred, uh, like just a hundred less. I'm not sure if it's going to show the score that I previously got, but I'm guessing it's not. But anyway, it was about, like I said, it was about just about a hundred left. 100 less oh there it is oh well it's actually a few hundred less but still it's good enough for me because stock I, I wasn't even in the tens nowhere near the tens i was in the low nines so but anyway that's um this is the overclock kernel for the samsung galaxy s4 if i find anything else i'll let you guys know thanks for watching